I've no idea why people make such a stink about the health implications of white collar fights. There's dads snap the leg all the time doing football on a Sunday. There's people who are paraplegic because they fell off the bicycle at like eight miles an hour. Someone's gonna get to you at some point. If two consenting adults want to fight in a cage because life's a melismatic cacophony of bum trumpets otherwise, let them do it. The issue with uh, white collar generally is what's the split of actually going to the charity and what's the promoter's expenses that they back pocket. But in terms of advice, three bits of advice I'll give you. Use the lead hand more. People at this level won't really use the lead hand. They're gonna look for that kebab shop off the backhand and the natural opening they're gonna leave, especially in orthodox orthodox, is opening for the left hook, opening for the lead hand. Number two, if you're really overwhelmed, just clinch the fucker, just clinch the fucker. Even if it's boxing or kickboxing, whatever, just clinch and hold for a little bit. You're, even the best defensive fighters at a professional level aren't gonna slip and parry and block and roll every single punch. If you get overwhelmed, hold on to a clinch, and if you're lucky, they'll splash, they'll thrash around and waste a load of energy in there. And number three, because this is really easy to forget, especially at this level, make sure you breathe. You don't want to go a minute of fighting holding your breath because you're going to be absolutely fucked. Enter to breathe by the prodigy to remember. In fact, enter to breathe by mid-jewer to remember. Harry, you've done some white collar coaching. What's the, uh, or beginner to winner, whatever it's called. What's your advice? I mean, if it's a pure striking thing, get a good left hook. Or like, put a lot of time in the left hook and invest in the left hook. Because the fight is more than likely going to be a sloppy brawl and the left hook is the much easier, closer power punch to land that puts you back in a defensively responsible position. Whereas swinging shit with your backhand will throw you out of position, especially if you've not been training a whole lot of time. And two, this isn't really advice, but white collar MMA, the gloves have like a sock thing on the finger to prevent, prevent eye pokes. And I'm like, I'm not sure if that's genius or terribly stupid. I have no idea. It's kind of end of the dragon. But yeah, there's your advice. Also, Unity Coffee in Newcastle, in Unity Gym, fucking banging cup of coffee. And we ain't even sponsored, we're just hollering them out. If you go there when the bald guy's in, you'll get the best cup of coffee in your life. Vauxhall Astra gonna get faster on the A19, it's a TDI. See me fly!